Hello everybody, it's several for, for, I don't know, I guess it's a tutorial. I was thinking of making like a whole stupid production thing out of this, no. Um, so I got 3DS capture card, and I've noticed that the ones that, I don't know, just like videos on the internet, at least recently, of like, tutorials and things aren't very informative. That's just what I see. It took me a while to figure out what exactly I was supposed to do to get it working properly. So I would make this video, you know, for people to figure it out. <clears throat> I'm recording the screen with Camtasia, but I don't really use Camtasia other than a few things. Uh, Wavepad is recording my voice, which I like to do separately because that's just fun. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a, my throat is stuffed. Um, so yeah, the 3DS capture card, which I guess I'll show on screen, uh, as a picture, uh, has a USB connection to the computer and the, uh, the current software, which is over here, uh, allows audio capture through the, uh, USB port as opposed to, like, having to hook up an audio cable. You can still do the audio thing, but I haven't figured out how to get that to work yet, so we'll just do the video thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, once you have the capture card hooked up and you start the software here, which, uh, you just get the, um, you know, if it's the first time that you're doing it, you have to install, just, just have it install updates and stuff. It should do it pretty quickly, but yeah, you should get the screen over here. Obviously you can see I have Tetris DS going. Um, you can hear, you should be able to hear the game audio. Um, this is over here a volume slider, uh, just make the game loud, quiet, you can hear that. So yeah, I keep it around here, it's pretty good. As obviously record, take a snapshot, this chooses where you record it, I have it on a separate hard drive. Uh, it records about one gigabyte for every five minutes, the way that I have it. Um, you can do split window if you really want to do that, but I really find that to be distracting so I just put it together the you can resize the window um, yeah, but it uh, scales like you can't make it an odd shape it stays the same shape but yeah um, you go so for video things it's a very simple recorder you can also use fraps if you want to but aside from the fact that fraps I find is just worse quality than this I've tested this out and I tested fraps out um, the file sizes are just huge. But yeah, there's a few video, <laughs> a whole load of video codecs, um, just because of all the stuff I have installed on my computer. Uh, I really don't find anything wrong with Microsoft Video 1. I put the quality up to all the way there, because why not? Uh, FPS is 30. I think that the games usually run like 29.98 FPS. I can never record only one or the other screen. I may as well record both screens because you usually have editing programs that could cut out one or the other anyway. Uh, the configure is just for the codec. I don't want to touch that. <laughs> I honestly don't know about that, but it, 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 this has really been fine for me. Uh, for audio, you see you have settings here. It just goes to a microphone. Uh, it doesn't go through speakers, which is weird. Uh, that's just how it is. So if you have it recording to any of these microphones, it will not pick up the game sound. I found this out when I test recorded. Uh, so you have to go to Stereo Mix, which, what the heck is Stereo Mix? That's a good question. You click the control panel and you go to recording devices and you see I have Stereo Mix here. Normally it's disabled. I found that it was disabled on computers. You have to right click there, go to show disabled devices. And just go to uh, stereo mix which would normally say disabled and enable it and you don't have to do anything special with that it just has to be enabled you press ok you go here you click stereo mix you click ok there and then you just hit the record button and it'll start recording you see how seamless that was normally like the hd pvr takes a few seconds don't just don't mind that D don't don't look don't look no nah, but like the HDPR usually takes a few seconds this just takes a moment like don't don't like start your recording or like whatever video it is immediately like wait a few seconds for it to get itself straight there is like a little thing nice thing here it says how much time how much memory 
specifically how many kilobytes per second you see it's about 140 150 megabytes for a half a minute and the FPS that's going at uh, so yeah DS games really don't go that far but yeah you can still hear the music going through this if you have like your headphones in or something which I do uh, which is nice and you can stop the recording there and um, we'll, we'll close this for now uh, then you just go to whatever folder you have your recording in just to make sure see I have like a separate I have it on a separate empty hard drive just in case and that is not the recording this is our recording and yeah you play it I use VLC because that plays just about anything and um, see it's nice quality um, can obviously uh, change the volume around maybe make it a little louder on your system because here it's just a little quiet unless it's like pumped all the way up but <clears throat> the volume is indeed there <clears throat> so yeah I hope this helped you out uh, it's really simple once I figured that one part out I was like going trying forever and ever ever America sorry uh, I was trying forever and ever. This could be uploaded on the 4th of July, isn't it? Wow. I got this. I oh, downloaded this on the 4th of July like two years ago. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, it's really easy. The, the set, the, the recording is just, it's really easy. It's, uh, it's nice quality. You know, you just set the volume a little higher. I mean, the worst that could happen is you set it all the way up. Well, I don't want to do that because sometimes the volume peaks, but like you set it really high and then you just lower it in editing. That's the worst that could happen, which, you know, isn't that bad. <laughs> anyway, I hope this helped you out a little bit. Um, this might, hopefully will save you a little bit of time of searching on the interwebs. And uh, yeah, this has been Several Level 4 and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.